Hi, it's Abel1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. And today I've got a short snippet for you of someone getting interdicted in a Type 7 being attacked by another player. Now he fought the interdiction because he thought he was being interdicted by an NPC. Um, he doesn't follow my advice about having your list filtered, pre-filtered for stations and systems so you can easily plot an escape route. And basically loses the interdiction ends up trapped with the griefer for a reasonable amount of time. Um, I'm going to use the word griefer, but you know, someone who's attacking a trader, a trade vessel, I don't think there's any power play reason that people just, you know, um, most Jabata saw an easy target in a Type 7. However, the Type 7 commander did do something that I do advocate in my escape and evasion guide, which is he didn't panic. At no point did he panic, he just picked his escape route and jumped out. Now, luckily for him, the opponent that he's facing was using flechettes. Uh, flechettes are really good against PvP targets because they'll whittle you down, but they're not that great at ganking. Um, my Type 9 did get taken out recently by flechettes, but part of that was because I was hanging around because one of my Dark Marauder colleagues was trying to get there to drop in on the instance, but unfortunately my drivers got taken out before he could get there. Um, but normally I would have just low waked up immediately or high weight to another system uh, rather than wait for support but all in all flechettes aren't the best ganking tool uh, they're great for taking out drives off to say whittling people down slowly whereas a gank is all about high damage um, mass firepower taking you to a surprise taking you very quickly um, had in this instance they've been attacked by say a 5 FDL plasma ramming type person it would have done a lot more damage in a lot more uh, a lot less time however the flechette build did not manage to take his drives out in time and he was able to wake away from the potential attack um, but I would like to thank this subscriber for this wonderful footage um, he has vowed that he will at one point get revenge on this person for attacking him while he was out and about in his type 7 um, and I have great respect to anyone who's flying around in a type 7 in open um, I love doing it. It's a very risky thing to do. The Type 7 is not the strongest ship in the world. It's not like you're flying a car. It, you know, when you're in a Type 7, if someone wants to kill you, uh, you know, you have to have your wits about you to be able to escape and evade. Um, so I thought I'd use this video just again to plug my escape and evasion guide. There's a few things here that could be worked on to make the escape evade a lot quicker, a lot safer. But all in all, any time you escape is good enough for me. And that's all for me talking. Enjoy this uh, carrier coming in clip with the sound effects. <laughs> 